All right, guys. You're gonna watch these. These are like uh, piranhas. This is the second feeding. I kind of don't keep their tray full because they have a, still have a big crop. You can see it. So I kind of let it stretch out. And um, so you can see once they watch their reaction when they see this silver pail, they're gonna go absolutely nuts. And watch them go try to eat. It's gonna be like piranhas trying to fix the camera, trying to get their food. You can't help. Watch this. Here we go. Talk about bird piranha. That is nuts. All right, I'm going to uh, show you um, the water system that I use for these meat birds. Uh, I do have another water system in place beside it, but part of the pipe is broke from a freeze we had, and I'm just not going to run in town to get it. But I do have something else I made that I never put in effect, so I'm going to use it this year for these guys. The water system I have in effect is this right now what they've got well that regulator as you see that blue lid has got a crack in it and over there that turn on and off valve is cracked so I can't function with this right now I just need to replace that and that and I can make the whole system fire back up which made it and I didn't use it because I had that running but I had it as, I was using it, I built it as a backup so I'll show you what I do I got a five gallon pail I drilled four holes in the bottom I don't remember the size of the holes, but what I will do is show you this. Here is the water nippler. It's threaded, has an O-ring on the bottom. This is the part that dangles down the bottom. And the your animals will move that around and water comes out of it. Now, like I said, two years ago and I never put it in effect. So, here you go. These birds have been using it since, uh, for about two weeks now. And here it is. Now, I did add a silicone to it. There's four of them. I think they said each bird you can have six to one nipple. That's 24, but I have 35 birds, but it's been plenty of water for the birds. They're doing great with it. Now, I'll show you what else I've done. This is the nippler. Basically, I drew, drew a hole in the bottom of here. I put just a little bit of silicone on it, not much. Not enough that would go through inside. And then I would screw, use those threads that you see, and I screwed it into the pail. It's not real tight, it just screwed in there. And I left this pail, this pail's been sitting for a couple years. But you can probably let it sit for a week or whatever and use it. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my pocket. Next, this is what it looks like inside. Okay, now, I wanted a water system where I don't have to go and fill water these these girls here go through five gallons of water a day no doubt so I don't want to keep having to go in there and drop off a container so what I made was this this hangs on a chain here you go hangs on a chain I hang it from the roof right there okay now let me go a little further here and show you what else I've done. Okay. You see I've got a hole drilled. I think I had a 9 16 hole saw, uh, uh, drill bit. I drilled through there. This is the garden hose end. And this is just the end inside. What I did is I got this. This is just a regular pipe fitting that goes on there. That'll screw there. Why do I do that? I'll show you. Okay. What's going to happen is, now hopefully I can keep this in screen, this, you don't need to put silicone on this or anything. All this is is to fill this bucket by garden hose. I screw this in here. I just kept drilling it. I had to auger the hole just a little bit to make it fit so I can screw that in. Just turn it all the way in there. Getting a little tight. doing this backwards guys I'm right-handed and I got the camera in the wrong spot 
All right, we're not worried about water leaking out of this, but what I did do is I have this for a reason. So this don't ever pull out. So what's gonna do is we're gonna screw that on the backside. I'll show you here in a second. Okay. I'm screwing that, see there's the threads for this pipe. I'm screwing that on right there. And that basically, hand tight is locking this part from pulling off. Okay? So there we go, we've got that. Next, I got a short garden hose. There's your female in that goes on your spigot. I have another female in here that's going to screw on this bottle, this uh, uh, five gallon pail. And guys, you can make this work on any, on any bird. I'd have it for these. Okay, it's tight. So let me go ahead and set this back up inside the pen and I'll show you what I do next. Okay, I got it hanging there and it looks cattywampus right now, but when you put water in it, it straightens out. I have it hanging, I got that chain, you see the chain? I have it on each side of that plastic handle so that way the chain don't slip off. The birds will want to come in there and drink and you can see there's nothing in there yet. See them? All right, anyway, I have it going around this pipe, but inside, wrapped around it. I got it high enough up, and now I'm going to turn the water on. You watch this. You don't want to turn it on real high because you'll make a big mess. But what I'm getting at is I don't have to go inside to put water in here every time now. All I got to do is walk by while I take care of my other animals, turn this on, and put water in it. As you can see, it's adjusting itself. I usually go about halfway to three quarter. That way, there's just not a lot of stretch stress on the bucket plastic handles because uh, uh, water weighs eight pounds, so uh, that's forty pounds in the plastic handle. So we'll stop now. There we go, and the birds will start. You can see them drinking water now. You see how big their front belly is. That's full of food, the crop. See him? Let me uh, close this up. There. They have been using this already for a while, and I've been wanting to do a video to it and show it to you. And so there it goes. And uh, actually, probably, uh, see how they have to, they're getting pretty close to being too big of a bird to reach it. So probably next week I'll go ahead and pull another inch and raise it up a little higher. But I have it through the fence. It's tied into my water spigot assembly I've got right here. I just crack it open, fill it up as I go do other stuff, come back, turn it off, and now they've got water all day long. Um, that would probably last them. But no, I have to go by again. I'll fill it up. This is the second time today I filled it up. So that's the water system what I use for these birds. They get fresh water right out of tap and uh, they're loving it. Birds are eating their hearts out. These Cornish crosses are maniacs at eating. Look at that, huh? And they're just getting after drinking. I'm going to get some uh, more hay. I have, uh, I got more um, straw hay for that. It's up the truck and you go get it now. The birds are getting big. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We have uh, two, three more weeks, two and a half more weeks, three, three weeks this weekend. Anyway, in freezer camp time. Oh, the cat. <laughs> Happy, look what you're doing to them. You're disturbing them, their, their dinner. She can't get in there. Nothing can get in here. This is a sealed all the way around. Chicken wire, the whole thing. Chicken wire from, from right here up. The roof is all chicken wire. So nothing comes can get in here. Heat lamp still on. I left it on this morning, it was 50. So, 
All right, look who's joining me. Hey, happy. Hi, honey. What you doing, baby? Hmm? What you doing, honey? Hmm? What? You gonna tell me a story? Hmm? No? Huh. All right, guys, there you go. That's how I uh, get the birds some water. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.